this research is a, a series of research projects are looking at the fire behaviour modelling and particularly there, there are four projects and um, one of them is looking at coupled fire atmosphere modelling. The, uh, there are two projects looking at extreme events and uh, when we get uh, quite explosive fire behaviour and how we can better model and understand that. And the final project is looking at physical fire behaviour modelling and, and coming up with a new way of modelling fire using physics-based models. How they'll fit together will actually vary depending on the actual project we're looking at. The coupled fire atmosphere model is, is a very good basis model and particularly because the current way that weather is forecast at the moment doesn't really look at what is the effect of the fire and so uh, if, if we actually have a way of building in the, the heat that's produced by the fire and how the landscape actually changes, it gives us a better way of, uh, of modelling and understanding and, and predicting the, the actual weather. Uh, and, and how that weather interacts with the fire. The extreme event projects will, uh, will feed in from that and there, there's also information that will come out of those that will help us understand uh, how, how we can better predict extreme event fires. The uh, physical based modelling project is something that is more long term and that project will help us uh, better understand things in the future and uh, some of the inputs from those pr previous three projects will help with the physical based project. There, there's quite a lot of benefits with, with this project, uh, these projects, particularly uh, a, a lot of fire behaviour is, is better understanding and modelling how a, a fire um, is, is going to progress and the timing of impact on communities. So particularly when we're providing warnings, uh, the, uh, the, the, the more precisely we can predict how big that fire is going to be and the time of impact um, is something that really can help save people's lives. And so having a, a, a better understanding of what weather we're looking at uh, that's going to influence the fire as well as how things like spotting uh, and, and time of impact is, is quite critical for us in, in warning and preparing for communities under those extreme events. <laughs>